we are back to regular programming, AKA me and my apartment with my Ember mug and my Keurig coffee baby. Sometimes things just hit like that. Ryan's first sleepover, Ryan's first sleepover. <laughs> And he's going to work, you guys. We're having our coffee. This is so fun for me. All dressed up, looking dapper, making his eggs, about to do his egg flip. I'm not even kidding. I never understand why people do this. It's because you don't want the yolk, Ryan. Mm -hmm. Guys, this new egg holder that came in my fridge is so cool. I'm obsessed. <laughs> it's the little things. Brooke got me this stunning candle for Christmas and I've been saving to burn it because it's a nice candle. I was like, you know what, no apartment, that makes sense. I am undoing my bed because between 9 and 11 a.m. today, I have a special delivery. My bed, frame, and nightstands are coming, which is so exciting for so many reasons because that means I can finally hang up the mirrors above the nightstands. My bed will be a little bit more risen, which I've never had. I've always had like lower bed. Well, not low, always, but in New York, my last bed was really low, which I liked, but now I'm excited to raise up a little, have some storage underneath. There's drawers. And then my nightstands, obviously. My, it was my mom's idea to use these baskets that I've had as nightstands, which has honestly been great, but I'm excited to have some drawers, you know? So this is a big day. Thank you all for your input on where to put this guy, because obviously he can't stay there. I kind of like him leaning there, or someone DM'd me and literally screenshotted from the vlog and like drew a circle here, and they're like, that should go there. And that would look nice there, I think, too. I just feel like it belongs in the kitchen, because I'm in the kitchen, I want music. I don't know. Hey! Lost <laughs> Hey, Law. Law. Guys, he posts this on his story every morning for his friends. That's amazing. Ice in your veins. <laughs> Me like only showing Ryan because I look crazy right now, but good morning. I have cleared the way. We are all ready for the new bed. Hopefully they know they're moving a mattress too. I feel like that's normal because a lot of people get their mattresses before their beds, hopefully, question mark, because Ryan's gone now. <laughs> Um, and we like left the plastic under my mattress because I knew it was gonna be on the ground for a while So we'll take the plastic wrap off very excited. I also just realized though I just called down to see if any more of my rugs were delivered because in a perfect world You know my rug would go down and before they put the bed because it's just gonna be a little harder When the bed's already down I gotta put the rug, but it's okay Because <laughs> I don't think the other rugs are here yet. I don't know why but um, yeah, I'm waiting on a rug for under my bed and I'm still waiting for the rug that's supposed to go here and the coffee table. Um, I'm actually getting it custom made to look exactly like this one I saw and I'm obsessed. So yeah, and I also feel like I might, the light in the morning in here is so good, the morning sun. I also feel like I might need to move the mirror a little bit more this way so we can move the couch a little back. The couch is just sliding around because it's not on a rug. Like it's not even comfortable to sit in the L right now because the rug I think is what keeps that ottoman in place. So I'm excited to get the rug and just kind of start finishing up. I also think I should have had Ryan help me with this. I'm gonna move the table a little bit more that way so it's a little bit further away from these chairs, which is so doable. So yeah, and then these are the mirrors that are gonna go above my nightstand. So I think this is the only other furniture delivery I'm waiting. Oh wait, no, I'm actually waiting for a storage ladder over there, but other than that, it's almost coming together. Also for now, I still have this mirror here. Some of you guys told me to put up my entryway, which I don't hate, but the reason it's in here is because when I'm getting dressed, sometimes it's nice to quickly run over here. I could put the mirror here, but I feel like this door is open a lot to my closet. Another option is I could put the mirror here and I just kind of have to look really close up. Cause initially a mirror was gonna go here and then we realized this needs to go here, so. That's what we're doing. Okay guys, the bed and nightstands are here! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I knew I had a king bed, but this just makes the king bed look bigger and I love it. It's literally so similar to my last headboard. I love it, but it has drawers. So I have more storage, just more storage, the better, which I'm just thrilled about. And then these are the nightstands. They're both from West Elm, these nightstands in the bed. So much storage in here. Lamp, mirror, you guys already know the vibes. Seeing this now too, I'm like, I, I was thinking about lime washing my walls in here and now I'm like, I feel like it might really need it. Like I think it would just really make the bed pop and then I probably wouldn't do artwork over the bed. Or if I keep it this way, then I will get artwork for over the bed and maybe something with some color. I need to make the bed too. And I, I don't think these are the pillows I'm gonna put here. 
Like I have throw pillows, but we're just gonna see. But anyways, yay. Time for some lunch. And then you guys, I got a package from Princess Polly that I'm legit obsessed with. I need to do a haul. I made Ryan and I tacos last night and this is what I have left over. Some beans, ground beef and an avocado. I'm gonna see what I can do with this. I don't know if I'll ever get over this microwave. <laughs> It's so, like you literally can't open it yourself. You have to press the buttons, but woo. You know what? I think this looks pretty darn good. I don't have any rice, which I would have liked, but we've got black beans, ground beef, tomato, salsa, situation, situation, and some avocado to make for the perfect little lunch bowl. I'm pretty happy with this. And I'm gonna cook dinner tonight too, which just feels good to like have a little routine even though I didn't even tell you guys, I am going on vacation tomorrow or on a bachelorette, my first bachelorette ever, which is why we need to do this Princess Polly haul because I needed clothes. It's another cup of coffee type of morning. I'm literally drinking decaf. I'm like, I need another cup. <laughs> Thank you so much to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. As you guys know, I've been wearing Princess Polly four years that like white set that i wore to my event i had a couple weeks ago or a week ago um was from princess polly and i got so many compliments from you guys that night also a lot of people don't realize this but princess polly ships from within the united states and they have free shipping on orders over 50 dollars, and that shipping is three to six days so it's so nice and that's for orders in the u.s princess polly also offers after pay and shop pay to all u.s customers i love both of those especially shop pay it makes shopping so easy, a little too easy, but that's okay. We love the Princess Polly has shop pay. I'm gonna show you guys all the clothes I got now and do a little try on haul because how fun. I also have a code for you guys to get some discounts. So that code is Danny20. I'll have links down below to everything I show, but let's do the try on haul now. Okay, here is outfit number one slash just two pieces I'm obsessed with. I am realizing I really like this kind of cut on a top on me. I think it's really flattering on the arms. And it's so cute. And the best part is this is some thick material. Like I am not wearing a bra, which we love. This is so cute. I really like styling it like this, like the black and white moment, just ride out the summer while we can. Um, these pants are so nice. I'm gonna have to get them hemmed, I think, or like wear them with a heel, but these are so good. They're so light and comfortable. They're not linen at all, but they kind of have that same feel. You could wear them as like a beach cover up. I'm also going to Nantucket next month, which I'm really excited about. And these are definitely coming with, but overall I just love this outfit. I also got these boxer pants from Princess Polly. These are in a large because I wanted them to be more of like a low rise moment. Um, so obsessed. I believe this is like a dark charcoal gray and white stripe. This one doesn't say Princess Polly on the tag. So cute, I wore these in London and I was obsessed, so love these. I mean, I'm obsessed with this little moment here. You could wear this top with jeans or with a different type of shirt or a different type of skirt, whatever you want. Um, I love it. I love this like ruching here. I love this neckline. So good, so perfect for the end of summer. And then the skirt, obviously, I like how these look together a lot. You could wear like long necklaces here, like a body chain if you have any music festivals coming up. I just love this so much. I would also wear like a little baby tee with this skirt. I think that would be really cute. It just feels very feminine, very summer. Perfect, again, for vacation or if you live in the city and just want something airy you can wear. I feel like this is perfect. I don't know if I would wear these two pieces together or not, but I just thought the yellow in the tank would go with like the yellow on the flowers. Anywho, both of these pieces are from Princess Polly. Obsessed. Love, love, love. This is such a cute, feminine, fun, summer in the city top, or again, for vacation as well. I will definitely be bringing this this weekend to Florida. I'm going to Florida for a bachelorette. That's where I'm going. It's my first bachelorette I've ever been on, so I'm really excited. But yeah, it's so cute. I love how it's sheer. It's just so different. And then this skirt, of course, you guys know I love a maxi skirt. And there's a nice slit here. Has really pretty flowers on it. Overall, love this. I think they're cute together, but also it would be cute. Like a white tank with this skirt or a black tank. I just like love that look a lot. And then I also got this super cute green dress. Like how cute is this neckline? I love a fit and flare dress like this. I find them to be very flattering and I just love this. I think this is perfect for like, oh, let me just throw something on. Boom, done. I feel very cute, very feminine in this. It also makes me look kind of tan, I feel like. Or maybe that's just me. I don't know. I feel like I'm losing my tan from the summer, which I'm really sad about, but 
How cute! So like I said, I will have everything linked below for you guys to shop. Also use my code DANNY20 to get a discount. But thank you so much again to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. I love my new pieces. Obviously had to get my favorite protein smoothie. This is the OPP from Juice Generation. It's so good. I'm about to head over to do a really fun podcast recording. Brooke and I are having Sophia Franklin on Gals on the Go. And then we're going on Sophia with an F. So it's going to be such a fun collab. I'm so excited. Did my makeup, touched up my hair, got dressed. Need to pack my bag for the recording. Should we do a little what's in my purse? Hello, British Vogue. I'm Charlie XCX, and this is what's in my bag. Wallet, of course. This is like just like a fun big bucket bag that fits a lot. Brooke is running around the city today and asked if I could bring her a charger, so I'm bringing this, and then also a portable charger. I didn't know which one might be more convenient for like while we're recording. I'm gonna bring a hairbrush, a lip balm. I also need to bring like my lipstick, which is right here. Also, can we talk about my cute Kindle case that I made at my Kindle event the other day? So good. This is like, I'm, 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 I'm like unpacking my bag from my trip to London, like my carry-on bag. This stuff is incredible. The Summer Fridays, I'm gonna bring it, why not? It's like a hydration mist to kind of, you know, refresh yourself. I'm gonna bring some breath spray. I'm like a chaotic mess right now, how about that? And then essential oils, of course, in case. I need. Okay, we're all packed there. Gonna get, no, I have my lip products in here. Gonna bring my vlog camera. Okay, here is my little podcasting fit. I like it, I like how there's shoulder pads in this little jacket. On the go. Recording time. Very excited, guys, say hi to my vlog. Hello, hi vlog. We're about hi, to vlog. start. Oh, it's on top of the camera. Oh, it's a little fuzzy mic thing for the wind, but it's so dirty Wait, now. <laughs> I'm gonna do Sephora haul. Brooke's here now, and Yay. I want your commentary. Oh, I love it. Like, this be kind of fun. Yeah. So I did a little, little Sephora. <laughs> Brooke comes and no. goes, "What's that?" <laughs> Everyone, no, I know. Okay, Let's first see. thing. So I needed some minis. I think you've done this before. Yeah, you, like got minis for Georgia. Minis, yeah. So I'm trying this Amika shampoo Ooh. and conditioner mini because they only had certain mini shampoos and conditioners. Yeah, yeah like, to be picky. Yeah, I would have done like Bondi boost because they have minis, but they didn't sell them. So. Oh, Kenzie got me on this. You have a brush similar, so you probably wouldn't want it, but the Crown Affair brush. I'm oh, so excited to have it. Yeah. We would all be like, can I use your brush? Because it, it, I think it's similar. Mm. Wait, it, I just whipped mine out, my mini. Oh, I missed it. Yeah. yeah. It's like, hers is the Mason Pierce. Um, but this is, I need to like turn on this. Is, it's the, is it bristle or nylon or both? Oh God, I don't know. The, it's both. Boar and nylon bristle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it makes your hair look so good immediately. It's uh -huh. literally what you're talking about. Well, Kenzie kept using it and we would like nice literally brush. ask her if we could use it. Oh, like, that's so fun. Good thing none of us like had lice. Oh my God. You remember that was like a thing yes, growing yes, up? Yes, like, I like, share your brushes. Yeah, I like have that in my head still I thought sometimes. that, but then at the hair salon they use the same brush for like every- I know, yeah, they, they just kind of do a quick little like- I know, I, th I think about that sometimes. I'm like, wait. No, I agree. Yeah. Also in the Crown Affair, my friend Jordan, we were with her. Oh, I saw it. So yeah. fun. Oh my god. And she was talking about this finishing gel. Apparently, this is like, you know, when you slick back your hair. Yeah. But you can brush through it. Oh, okay. So we love that. So I got that. I, was... I like this brand a lot. I've been using the finishing spray from the Ooh. Home. Yeah. See? Now I need to try that. Yeah. Um, okay, some minis. Color Wow, Ooh. one minute transformation. Did you see Mads Hair's video about this? No. Go watch it after. Okay. You'll see why I bought this. Wow. I got a mini one of that. Leave in conditioner from Ooh. the way. Oh, this must have been a free gift. I really? Didn't, I didn't buy this. Olaplex mini bonding oil. Oh, I didn't know. Okay. Okay. Mini oh, Suwasu. This is amazing. And you gotta travel with, and I'm gonna do what you told me to do, is bring a few of those clean oh, towels so nice. in a bag. People in The Bachelor are gonna be asking for them. You might I bring know. Them I should bring yeah, some yeah, extra. Yeah, yeah. Mini hyaluronic acid. Oh, wow. And then my main hyaluronic acid for not mini. Oh. And that's my Oh my haul. god. Thanks for watching, Brooke. That was gorgeous. That kind was of very like grand random. Haul. No, I mean, wait, are you only bringing carry-on? No. <laughs> but um, either way, I'm not bringing that's my great. full size cleansing oil. Yeah, this stuff is literally I like that it has the pump. It, anything with a pump, like I don't even care what it is. Like I'll take it. Yeah, and so. Danielle's apartment smells like dinner now, so I think I gotta scoot. I know. Well, I only started it because you were while no. you're here because it takes forever. I'm making my meatballs. It smells delicious, and I'm doing to figure out what I'm doing for dinner now too. Yeah, we just you know, we just recorded. We just had to do some work famished. things. <laughs> Sophia with an F. She was so fun. She's mm. so herself. She's so herself, guys. You have to listen because she tells us how she gets guys to like 
pay things for her. Pay for, pay things. for things. Pay for things for her. It was we like funny. Like, she's like, I'm sure you guys get that all the time. We're like, we've literally never gotten that once. Never gotten that. It was <laughs> really nice of her though. Um, I know, she's so sweet. Okay, Brooke just left. You guys are gonna laugh at my dinner, but this is like all I had in my fridge. And I was like, I'm not ordering. So I had frozen green beans that I just heated up. And then also, these were my favorite. Like, I'm not mad about these for sure. My Rayo's meatballs. So this is my dinner. Ryan's gonna come over soon. I'm also getting a pedicure. A little late night petty. So I'm gonna eat. I'm so hungry. Brooke and I were just filming something, like I said. So I've got the setup I need to put away. Oh my God, I cannot wait to sleep in my bed tonight. Like, wait, something is wrong with the ISO. Oh my gosh. I knew everything felt a little darker than normal. I've got a pack because I'm going to Florida. We have some themed nights. One of the nights is the last splash. So I got this beautiful blue dress with like a necktie and then another night sunset night. I helped plan the bachelorette. So I got to help make the themes and I made mood boards. It was really fun. The boat day, we're all wearing black bathing suits. So I just have to locate one of my black bikinis. I'm just like wound up. Today's been back to back. We did two podcasts and broken up. You know, it's just been a lot of like talking. So I just want to calm down. We're going to take a shower. I love how my shower nozzle, don't mind this. <laughs> it's my bathing suit. I, one thing I love about my shower is that the nozzle or the knob isn't under it. So if you're not getting your hair wet that day, it's so nice. You don't have to like quickly, <laughs> it's the little things in life. Um, so this, this controls the temperature and this is like, you turn it on and off. So this is so nice. So then, I don't know, it's just the little things, but I was like, wow, this, this shower was invented by a woman. You know, like I've seen this on TikTok. It's like hotel rooms that a man created or a woman created. It's like little things like maybe there's space on the counter. Like if there's space on the counter, maybe a woman set it up also. This is the one unorganized spot of my apartment, okay? I wanna do a whole like day where I organize all of my drawers and put everything and I have like these medicine cabinets that I wanna utilize. So I just don't wanna put anything in because I wanna do a whole day where I do like a before and after. So that's why everything's in my bathtub, but it kind of works. So with that being said, we're gonna take a nice shower. I feel like this will do the trick. I just took a shower. I'm so happy with the extensions I have in. He put them in in a way that I can still like throw my hair on the top of my head, which is so important. Like if you just get it when you come home and you're all overstimulated, you just need to throw your hair up. Like I'm so glad I'm able to do that with my extensions. So I don't know if you can see them, but I don't care. As long as it doesn't like hurt and doesn't pull at them, I'm happy I can do that. I just got flowers in the mail. Unclear who they're from. Oh my God, they're from Bondi Boost. I'm going on a trip with them in October. We're so thankful for you and can't wait to see you in October. Enjoy your flowers. Wait, that's so nice. Oh my God. Shampoo, is the conditioner in here too? Wait, how, wait, that's sick. Nothing like, oh my God, I literally needed, I just ordered more. I literally just ordered more, but that's okay. I always need backup, so that's exciting. And the flowers are so pretty. Ah, I can get them out. So kind, a little shampoo and flower delivery. I'm never mad. Okay, so me and a few of the girls made a Canva with itinerary, packing list, mood boards, everything for this bachelorette, for our friend's bachelorette. I'm so excited. It's like last splash themed. It's like her last splash, but then like one of the nights is a last splash like dressing night. But like, I went so hard. I was like, this would be cute just to put on. Like I literally made that as just like a graphic for one of the pages. I don't know why. We have like the itinerary and the packing list, which I'm referring to now, which is so helpful. Um, so one of the nights is sunset night and I made this little mood board. So people either would wear pink, orange, yellow, like something sunset. Mine is like, I'll show you guys in a second. Mine's like orangey and I love it so much. Like how cute is this? Like I can't wait. And I think the bride might not be wearing white. She was like, I want to be a part of the sunset too. And I was like, oh, right. So I don't know what color she ended up choosing. And then we have a boat day where we're doing like death of a bachelorette. So this was like the inspo, but just like all the girls wear black and we got her or she'll wear white. And then we got her like a cute captain's hat with like a veil. This is my first bachelorette. I'm so excited. And then the last splash, I am so excited. This is the little mood board we have here. So very like jewel tone colors, like blues, pinks, whatever. And then adding like seashell jewelry or like starfish is that vibe. So I'm excited. That's it. So I just need to pack those outfits, black bikini, got all of my minis. I'm just like vibing with my lo-fi music. I'm so not in the mood to pack. But thankfully, my toiletry bag 
is still like packed from London. And I have my minis that I bought today, so I'll replenish those. I really want some hot tea, but if I make sleepy time tea right now, I'll literally fall asleep. Like that stuff works like melatonin on me. Oh, I need to refill my supplements. Oh, one thing I think I showed you guys, but I'm obsessed with. So this little thing right here, you can't even tell it opens, it opens. And then this is probably supposed to be your pantry, which I am using as a pantry, but then also there's these two sliding larders. And on the bottom one, I use it for my supplements because I'm always refilling my supplements or there's like my melatonin in here. And this is like the best thing. I was like, should I give up this spot for like, you know, food? And I'm just so like, I'm so happy to have my supplements here. So, oh my God, I'm actually completely empty. So I do need to do that. Oh, oh, one got left behind. I don't know which one that is. That looks like, that looks like magnesium. Where'd it go? We'll do this right now. Yay, we are all done now. That feels good to play my weekly game of Mancala, as I call it. Even though I'm going out of town tomorrow, I wanna enjoy these flowers as much as I can. And it just feels good to be in some sort of routine. Like I went and got groceries last night. I've been cooking at home today, other than ordering my smoothie, of course, but, because literally since the Hamptons, like before the Hamptons, I don't think I've had like, I've been like in and out and moving and stuff, so it feels nice to just do this. It's definitely something I'm trying to get better at is, that was like a ghost in my trash can, is even if I'm traveling on the weekend or I have like plans or I feel busy, is to, I'm trying to stick to routine as much as possible. Just because I swear it like regulates my nervous system. I just feel more whole and sane and just like keeping my space clean. Whoa, there was like water wrapped in this. That's really cool. I'm making a mess. Oh, these are gonna look so nice. So pretty, wow, okay. Love. Drinking my sleepy time tea, actually my second cup. It's very nice. I still don't have any lighting in my room, you guys. Something about apartments in New York, all three of the apartments I've lived in, including this one, don't have overhead lights in the bedroom or in the living room. Like the only lighting I have in here is from my kitchen, which honestly is fine. And I don't think that's gonna, oh wait, no, I'm stupid. I'm, I got like a hanging lantern looking thing that I'm so excited that'll go there, but I'll have to get an electrician for that. Um, so I will have a light in here, just kidding, because I'm not gonna have my floor lamp. But yeah, I'm just using like a podcast light in here just because at night it quite literally gets dark and I have to do things, so. But I love before going on a trip, like just making sure my apartment feels really nice and cozy. I just love being in my apartment. Like I love nesting, I love just doing things, which is funny because I travel a lot, but like this truly is my sanctuary. So I'm just setting up my outfit for the morning at the airport. Um, I'm so excited to like fill in my nightstands. I have to like use the drawers. So I just put my Kindle in there for now. One of my Kindles, I have two. Um, but I like how these nightstands have this marble top because I feel like I'm always bringing drinks in here and stuff like that or like liquids in this way. Um, there won't be any rings on the wood or anything. So I like that. And then there's a bigger drawer on the bottom, which is so good. And then I forget if I showed you guys or not, but I've got these storage drawers. So there's two on either side. So, um, I'm very pumped about that. The bed and nightstands are from West Elm. These pillows are looking really sad. I will be adding some color here and someone's gonna come next week and we're gonna hang up the mirrors, which I think are gonna look really good. And then my lamps come next week that are really pretty. And then, yeah, I really need to make a decision on if I wanna lime wash my walls. And I'm like, wait, is that dumb? I guess I can't hang up the mirrors until I decide if I'm, if I'm hanging up. I guess I can't hang up the mirrors until I decide if I'm lime washing the walls. Hmm. I don't know, I'm getting mixed reviews from people, but I feel like it would look so good in here. But also, what if I hate it in a while and I do like having a bright room and lime washing the walls would make it a little darker. Look up lime washing walls if you don't know what I'm talking about. But then I need to get something for over the bed and that I don't know either. I also had my mirror here, but I just moved it for here 
to here for now. I might have my handyman hang it up so it's flush on the wall so that I can open this door. I mean, I can open it just about um, to get in the closet, but I do like having a mirror in my bedroom when I'm getting dressed. So actually fun fact, since I've moved here, I've been sleeping on that side because when my mom stayed with me, she just, I know she really likes to be near the bathroom, um, TMI, but like she just likes to, she always, like when we stay at hotels and stuff, she wants to be on that side near the bathroom. So I was like, you can sleep on this side. She was like, that's so nice. But I was like, I haven't lived here yet. So like, I don't have a side yet. So I've been sleeping on that side, but I think tonight I'm gonna sleep on this side because I also like to be near the bathroom and I feel like that's always like the side that you sleep on. I don't know. We'll see where I'm called to tonight, but I'm also so excited because I have my TV in here and I can like get in bed and watch TV. Like last night, Ryan slept over and that was really nice. We could like, cause sometimes he's still awake, but I'm tired. So then I fall asleep on the couch, but now it was so nice. Like last night we started to watch TV and then I fell asleep and he just finished watching until he went to bed. But like, I still felt like I was next to him. I don't know, I thought it was cute. I'm just about packed though. I'm um, really excited. We did like goodie bags for the girls and I'm bringing some element um, electrolyte powders to put in everyone's goodie bag. I've got my bikinis bag, my sunglasses. I just need to put, I need to decide on my hair tools. We actually need to bring a beach towel randomly because the, we're going to Santa Rosa Beach or like Rosemary Beach, like that area. And our Airbnb is so cute, I'm excited, but they don't have beach towels. So we all have to bring our own, which is kind of funny. So I have to throw a beach towel in here. Um, I'm also gonna bring my Canon G7X because I feel like people will want to take photos on there. Um, but yeah, I've got all my outfits got I hope like this is okay. Like it's not white, right? Like I'm overthinking everything I'm literally like oh, there's white in my sweatshirt for like lounging, but I'm like no Danielle I I would hope that that's okay um, oh, and then This is gonna be my carry-on bag or my little tote bags So I'm gonna go fill this up I'm gonna put this cute little claw clip on the handle here. I feel like that's cute. It's very Last Splash themed. What's in my carry-on bag? No, I'm kidding. Well, not really. That's my little bag. The clip looks so cute on it. I love her. Um, Brooke got me into using pouches to like organize everything in my tote bag and it's seriously changed the game. Um, so in this one, I have like supplements and like random stuff like that. And then this one I have like Honestly, usually I would have at least three pouches. Actually, well, I am gonna have a third pouch, hee hee, and that'll be over here. And this one will be any tech stuff I have. So this will be my G7X, um, my Kindle maybe. Yeah, I think that'll fit, because we're gonna be at the beach, so I wanna read. And then um, my camera charger, my computer charger, my phone charger, AirPods, just anything tech will go on this one. And then this is like a mini hairbrush breath spray, like random stuff that I travel with. <laughs> Closing up shop in the living room kitchen area. I'm listening to BFF's podcast right now, Kayla and Aaron. I'm like a couple episodes behind. I've been loving listening to this podcast though. And they're talking about Love Island. I just put my Divi Scalp Serum in my hair. Now I'm using this new Crown Affair brush that I got today. Like it just, Make, like, look at the difference. I, don't, I mean, obviously my hair's like dirty and I'm gonna wash it in the morning, but it really just does something very nice to your hair. I'm also wearing this cute little silk PJ set. I love it. I love nights I go to bed when I have pajamas on instead of like a big t-shirt. I feel like my life is together. I put some self tanner on my face because thank God I'm going to the beach this weekend. It's my last chance to get any sort of tan. So like, I'm gonna be tanning to the gods this weekend on this bachelorette trip. I can't wait to get some lamps because now I'm gonna go to bed. But like, usually I like to have my lamp on at least. <laughs> um, I just put some things in my nightstand. My essentials, some essential oil. I love this stuff from Frenchie. It's like a magnesium stick body serum stick and it like soothes me. I put it on my chest before bed. Um, but I'm gonna get everything out. Obviously I had to put my hatch right there. Literally the best. I'm gonna try and not watch TV before going to bed tonight because I really just need to go to sleep because I'm traveling tomorrow. But the vlog isn't ending here. I will see you guys in the morning. Good night.
first sip always hits. I just took an everything shower, headed to Florida today. I'm so excited. I'm also like sad because I'm like, I'll be in Florida, but not seeing my family slash family. But we're gonna be like really far from Tampa. It's so funny growing up. I never went to 38, Destin Beach, Rosemary Beach, Seaside, like all those beaches because we had so many beaches near us. Um, but I've always wanted to go to this area because the beaches look stunning and they're actually pretty far. Like I think it'd be like a four or five hour drive to Tampa from there. So we're not close by any means. Um, but I'm really excited to see all my college besties and just celebrate our friend who's getting married. My dad <laughs> sent me this water filter. Apparently it's like incredible. It's called Clearly Filter. And I wanna set it up, but he was like, you have to like prime it and you have to do all these things. <laughs> so I might wait a second on doing that. But I woke up early because um, I have to be at the airport. I have to leave for the airport around like 9.45ish. I'm telling myself 9.45, but if 10 happens, like that's okay. I do that to myself all the time and it really saves me from being late. Anywho, I'm doing something so extra this morning um, <laughs> that Brooke told me about, something called Glam Squad. They have it across the country. Um, basically you can book someone to do your makeup, hair, stuff like that and um, it's honestly similar prices to dry bar, at least in the city. I don't know if dry bar is different prices throughout the country. I feel like it is because in New York it's like so expensive or maybe they've just raised their prices in general. And now I don't live as close to a dry bar. I used to live really close to a dry bar. Now I don't live as close. Anyways, with extensions, I feel like it's so nice to have your hair done and then you don't have to wash your hair for like four or five days. Um, because for something about having extensions in your hair makes your hair last longer. I think it's you're not touching your hair as much um, and you're not touching your real hair as much. I don't know what it is, but um, I'm having someone from Glam Squad come this morning and do my hair. So I just had to like shower and have damp hair and then she's gonna style it and like blow it out. And I'm so excited because then I'll have my hair done for the weekend. And I fear I'm gonna really like this. Like I feel like this is a really cool thing. And I'm just nervous. I'm like, Brooke, you might've created a monster. Like this is just so nice that they do this. Cause you guys know I love a blowout. Like literally on the podcast we were talking about, there's one beauty service that like, like honestly over nails, I would get blowouts instead. Like I love getting my hair done. Like comment down below what your thing is. Like a lot of people did say nails, like nails would be the one thing they couldn't let go. And maybe I say that and then I would be sad to not have nails, but hair, I love having my hair done. Anywho, I'm enjoying my coffee. Ooh, I should probably check if there's a Keurig in this house, Airbnb, because if so, I'm bringing some decaf pods. Guys, I'm so obsessed. She just left. She was here for probably 45 minutes. My hair was literally wet when she got here. And I asked for, I'm, I'm not combing them out yet. They're like tight right now. I asked for like beachy waves, like all the curls, I wanted them to be different sizes. I wanted the ends to be like straighter because like we're going to the beach. And then she asked if she wanted, if I wanted her to comb it out now. And I was like, let me just wait for right before I go to the airport and then I'll like comb my fingers through it or maybe like a light comb, but obsessed, obsessed. No, this is so good. Wow. Brooke Michio, you've created a monster in me. I love when I'm squat. <laughs> We're gonna make some breakfast because you guys already know I'm such a breakfast girl. I just got this olive oil because it just is so satisfying to put on the pan. <laughs> We're gonna do some eggs. So we've got my little egg carton here. They think it's so fun. It's the little things in life. Make some toast as well. And then I'll probably eat some lunch or like a snack at least at the airport. We actually have a layover. We're flying to Atlanta. And then from there, Flying to, I think our flight's to Panama City Beach. I literally don't know. Like, thank God I'm flying with Delaney because she lives here too, obviously. So I'm not like alone in this. I guess we're gonna Uber there. Ooh. I actually think one of our friends is meeting us. Like, she lives in Atlanta, so she's meeting us on the Atlanta flight. Like, I think she's on that flight. I, I don't know, I really don't. We planned this so long ago. It's like, whoa, now it's, now it's here. We're gonna go three eggs. And one thing about me, I scramble my eggs in the pan before I start, which is kind of weird, but it works for me. 
mini spatula here and I just scramble it in the pan because I cannot be bothered. I'm like, I don't want another bowl that's dirty. I love breakfast so much. Delicious. I'm gonna eat it on my dining table. It's so nice, the morning sun in here. It's just, it revitalizes me. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, suitcase is zipped up, extender is out. But you know what, it's because we have to bring like beach towels, I'm bringing like uh, card games, stuff like that. Um, just doing my little closing shift, I'm gonna close the blinds. Already closed up shop in my bedroom, yes I did. And then I'm just going to unload and reload the dishwasher. I love when I have a clean dishwasher, I'm gonna take out my trash. And then we are gonna head to Florida for my first bachelorette ever. I'm so excited, seriously cannot wait. Obviously not vlogging because it's like my friend's bachelorette, but I will be posting stories. So, well, by the time this video is up, there's gotta be some sort of content online of the bachelorette. So definitely take a gander. Maybe I'll get the girls to film some TikToks if they're interested, I don't really know, but um, definitely go follow me on Instagram if you don't already. And go listen to Gals in the Go podcast because I'm sure I'll be doing some fun recaps there. I also just combed through with that Crown Affair brush, my hair obsessed. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and constantly supporting my channel. There will be more vlogs coming as always, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!